Let's use the abacus to count forward from a given number. Now, I signal to my students, I'm ready to go with that sound. So I'm going to treat this as guess my number conceptually, and then we're gonna count on. So I will give students a number. I will pause, give them think time, and then I'll give them turn and talk time. And what I'm wanting students to do is tell me the number and explain how you know that's the number. So here we've done a lot of work with tens and ones with our abacus. So I'm expecting students to be able to say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, or they will say 110, 210, 310, 410, 510, 5101, 5102. Then we can use that language to help us write 5102. And then I might ask them, what are the next three numbers? Now here, this abacus is helping this abstract concept bring it back to a conceptual level. So that way we can develop into this abstract writing. So we have 5102. Let's count on 5103, 5104, 5105. Let's go ahead and write that here. 5103, 5104, 5105. What's another name, just way to say 510, 5, 55. So I'm constantly going back and forth between the tens and ones and having them say the number that we say normally because we don't talk in that language every day. I have 510, 5 of something. No, I have 55 of something, all right? So this is the conceptual way to count forward from a given number. Abacus is great. Let's do another number. You just make that little swoop sound and we start. All right, enjoy. <laughs> 